Hey guys, Steven here at Mobile World Congress 2016. I'm actually in Madrid currently and I'm gonna leave, take my flight over to the conference, but I thought I'd record a quick video for YouTube, a classic what's in my bag. The first item I have here is the Zoom H1 Handy Recorder. It's a inexpensive recorder. It costs about $99 on Amazon. You can also pick this up at retail at Best Buy and similar places. Um, I don't use this to record audio directly, although it gives me a separate input for audio. Uh, I use it for monitoring the audio as I record so that I can both hear what's being recorded as it's being fed into uh, my DSLR. This is the Rode VideoMic Go. This portable mic is also about $99. It has phantom power, so you don't have to power it with a battery, which means you won't have to forget to turn the mic on and have issues with the recorded audio later. Uh, this uses a standard 3.5 millimeter audio output, and it has a hot shoe attachment and a suspension shock mount so that it sits atop the DSLR uh, and gets nice audio buffering from shakes and any bumps that I might receive if I want to walk while recording audio. For battery power, I have a combo setup. First, there is the iPhone battery case. Um, I know a lot of people think it's hideous, but uh, I don't have to use it all the time, but I take it just in case I run out of power on my iPhone 6, which is my primary phone currently. I just slap on the battery case. I do carry a Amazon Fire phone, which I use as a hotspot because it's unlocked. Uh, but in tandem with that, if I have my Bluetooth headset or other accessories, I use a MyCharge battery pack. Uh, I don't recall the exact model for this one, so I'll put the link in the description. Uh, but this MyCharge is excellent because it has an integrated wall socket. This is a bit cumbersome because I'm not in the U.S., so the U.S.-style wall socket is not as, as usable. But I use it in tandem with a, uh, with a power converter, but it just plugs directly into the wall. There's no extra cable. No extra cable because it also has both a micro USB and a lightning adapter integrated into it. For audio, I'm using the LG Tone Infinim. Uh, these are nice because they have the retractable, retractable earbuds uh, so that when they're not in use, I can just have them nicely retracted. The battery life is excellent on these. The sound quality is also very good on these. Uh, quality for music and audio, very good. Uh, the thing that makes these a really good design is because the battery pack is in this front section. So as the band sits around your neck, it's weighted towards the front. I was using a pair of Samsung Level U uh, Bluetooth headphones and they have a battery pack that sits at the back. There's also a Motorola headset and a Skullcandy headset that the battery pack is towards the back, but weighting it at the back that way in a neckband makes it fall off the neck. So uh, I tried multiple others and I keep coming back to the LG. My laptop, my primary computing workhorse is the 2015 11-inch MacBook Air. Uh, I know the 13-inch MacBook Air is very popular, uh, but in this case, I use the 11-inch because it has the Core i5 uh, processor, so it's equiv equivalently powerful uh, with a smaller screen. It's more portable. I sort of use this in place of also taking an iPad mini or, or an iPad device. Uh, it, it has a 128-gig solid-state storage, but I don't use Final Cut. I still am using iMovie. I use basic editing and uploads. Uh, for videos, and I have a nice, uh, nice skin here, which is really colorful. I'll put a link to that in the description as well. Uh, but yeah, this one, very small. It also fits in my camera bag, which is very compact. So basically, I chose this for the size of it, and this is my primary computing device. My camera for the conference is the Canon T6i. Um, it is a crop sensor APS-C uh, camera from Canon. It is their, it's mid-entry level. It's, it's a crop sensor SLR, so it's not as fancy or expensive as some of the uh, professional devices. It does have a larger sensor than Micro Four Thirds cameras, which are now very popular because of their portability. I have a couple lenses that I'm taking with the device. Uh, on the camera right here is a 28 millimeter f2.8, uh, sorry, 24 millimeter f2.8. Uh, it's a fixed focus pancake, and I leave this on there because it's pretty wide angle. Uh, pretty wide angle, and it's also very compact, so I can just leave it on there at all times. 
I also have the kit lens, the Canon 18 to 55 millimeter. This is the lens that came stock with the T6i. Uh, it's the most flexible because I have a couple pancakes, but this zoom lens gives me a very wide angle 18 millimeter that it starts with. So it's a, it, it is still the best walk around lens that I've found being a amateur photographer because it can go super wide angle. It pretty much always gives me the, the images that I'm looking for. I don't use it because uh, I don't use it as much, but I keep it in a bag because if nothing else can get the job done, I know I can always pop this on the camera. Or if I just get tired of swapping lenses, I can pop this on the camera. It's also image stabilized, which is important. Canon 50mm Nifty 50. This one gives good, excellent depth of field. It's an f1.8, so it's excellent for portraits and night shots. Last but not least, I have the Canon 55 to 250 millimeter zoom lens. I adore this lens. Uh, this lens, not really suitable for any sort of video use, but it is excellent if you are taking photographs of subjects that are far away. Uh, excellent, for, excellent for action photography. If you're in a crowded area, if you're at a tourist attraction, this is basically my tourist lens. If I go someplace, uh, and a lot of times people get a little odd if they see you so close up and photographing them, uh, a stranger photographing them. But this lens lets me just be, I don't know, at a cafe or lounging somewhere. I can look around and I can take photos of things that are very far away. And it lets me get the most natural photos and the most candid photos. Uh, so a lot of times the best photos, most memorable photos I get with this zoom lens. Lastly, all of this gear is being stuffed into a very compact bag. The bag that I'm carrying for the conference is the Lower Pro Tahoe BP150. I picked this bag up in Australia and it was about 99 US dollars uh, converted. The bag is very compact. Uh, part of the reason why I went with the 11 inch MacBook Pro is because I could also fit it in this bag. Uh, I actually bought the laptop first, then bought the bag, but convenient that it fits, fits in here. Uh, it doesn't have a dedicated spot for your tripod, which is, which is an inconvenience. So uh, if you have a tripod, you may still need to take the dedicated carrier for that. But it has slim profile, slim pocket in the front. Another uh, dedicated pocket where I can stick an iPad mini, extra accessory cables. In this case, I have an Amazon Fire Phone, which I'm using as an unlocked hotspot. Never mind the fire phone. Inside, it has dedicated compartments for, for SLR lenses and body, uh, and another storage compartment up top that I keep my battery pack, other accessory cables, extra memory cards. Uh, the pockets are reconfigurable, so it's a very flexible backpack. It's very light, uh, and it's very small, so even fully loaded with all the laptop, the camera and everything, the equipment's not too heavy, so it makes it pretty, uh, pretty acceptable to take it during the conference. Again, this is the Lower Pro Tahoe BP150.